Hi, and welcome to a very special episode of the Simon Oxfizz Book Club. Very special because I'm joined by YouTube legend Matthew Santoro. Hello. Thank you very much for being here. <laughs> Thanks um, for having me. Well, for the five people on YouTube who aren't subscribed to you, what, <laughs> what is your channel? What's it all about? Uh, so I make infotainment videos, uh, top 10 lists and fact-based videos, uh, basically with a twist of comedy talking about crazy, amazing facts from the world that we live in. And you're here, we're here in the YouTube space in London. Yeah. Because you've got this. I do, yes. So tell me about the book. What's it all about? Uh, it's the world's most popular bathroom reader. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, people, but it's, people have been making fun, and, but because like it, you can read it anywhere because it's just like when you have downtime or maybe when you are doing whatever, you can just read it and it, it's, it's for all ages, it's for all people. And essentially what it is is amazing, like it says, amazing, mind-blowing facts about the world that we live in. And uh, it was modeled after my YouTube channel and we had a lot of fun writing it, and uh, it was a number one bestseller on Amazon for a week, and I, I'm incredibly grateful for that. So it's done very well. Uh, very, I mean, yeah. Well, what made you write a book as opposed to putting all this in a video, say? Uh, because I already do the video thing, and Penguin Books reached out to me and said, do you want to write a book? And I was actually shocked that I hadn't thought about that earlier because it makes perfect sense to make a book because everybody loves facts, everybody loves things, basically learning new things and I think it's because humans are naturally an inquisitive species we have a thirst for knowledge we want to know more about why life is the way it is why the earth the way it is the way it is so um, you know we try to answer some of those questions in the book I mean a lot of it is I hope you won't be offended by me saying useless facts. Like most, a useless lot of facts until here, you need them. Useless until you need yeah. them. But you know, like um, there are a lot of facts in here that aren't going to save me in a life or death situation. I don't think. Definitely not. No, no. But like knowing about artificial robots and stuff isn't going to save you unless oh, yeah. they become sentient. Yeah, and then you're going to be like, oh, glad I got the book because I know that it's only going to take me a week to die instead of a day. I mean, I really like that. That was a point I wanted to make, actually, how, I mean, effectively, you know, it's like your channel that's lists of facts, but you've put them in different frameworks in each chapter. Right. So for the robot uprising, you've been what a ro it would look like if this robot was to do it. Right. You know, and you've changed, I mean, what, do you have a particular favorite format that you've done? I think I have a favorite, like, chapter. chapter? Yeah. Uh, I have two favorite chapters. The first one is the prologue, just because it's my life story yeah. and the genesis of how I came from being an accountant to being where I'm at now. But the other chapter is probably the uh, uh, That Can't Be True Kennet chapter because mm. it's just full of things that are going to make you ask that question, but they're all true. Yeah, I mean, the one that got me was the uh, microwave uh, uses more power to power its clock than to actually cook your food. Um, do you have a favorite fact, like an individual favorite fact? Um, wow, you know, whenever I get asked that question, the first thing that comes to my mind, and I don't even know if we put this in the book or not. I can't remember if I put it, but... Um, that jellyfish and lobsters are certain species are biologically immortal. Yes, I did know that. Yeah, one. yeah. specifically for jellyfish, it's the Toratopsis dorni is the name of the species, but uh, there's others as well. Yeah, I think it's, it might be the Medusa jellyfish, might be another one. I think so, yeah, but lobsters basically theoretically can't die. Uh, unless you, of course, you know, Eat them. boil them, and put them <laughs> in delicious butter. So. I mean, I think my favorite in here, and the one that I really want to do, is the beer mile. Yeah. If I, I mean, if I'm allowed to, to spoil one fact. Oh, please. Yeah, please. Uh, the fact this is a race where you have to race a mile, you run a mile, and then every quarter mile you have to chug a beer. And I think there's so many, there's so much complexity in that. There's, there's mind games where you chug it, this, like, you know, do you mm -hmm. walk it? Do you sprint it? Although I did think that you should have been talking about the um, uh, cheese rolling from Gloucester. Have you heard about this? I have. Yeah, I did talk about that in a video once. I didn't oh, put that in. I thought I put that in. It's not in the extreme it's... sports section. Okay. It, it might be. I can't remember because we put so much in there. But I mm. know that I absolutely talked about it on my YouTube channel. Um, but it's mental. That's why. Yeah, well, you can tell them what it is if they don't know. Yeah, it's basically, it's from my part of the world, which is the West Country. Yeah. And um, it's basically a bunch of people chasing a wheel of cheese down a very steep hill called yeah. Cooper's Hill. Um, I think it's just outside Gloucester. And people are wiping out and they're... Yeah, I mean, the cheese goes at about 70 miles an hour. They've actually <laughs> had to replace the cheese with like a foam thing now because it was wiping people out. Yeah. Um, it's very dangerous. Runaway dangerous cheese takes on a life of its own. So what, um, how did you find the writing process then? Like, how different was it from writing a, a video? Yeah, well, it, see, the thing, what was nice about it was the book itself is a collection of kind of the best of facts from my YouTube channel. So many of them were already written, but there's so much more to the book than that. It's, we got new facts that we researched. We included uh, uh, fan facts, which is mm. the little gray areas in, in there. Um, and that's all things that fans submitted and were vetted by myself and the co-writer Jake Green and the people at Penguin. And it was just... 
it took a little over a year, which is not bad at all, yeah. considering that you know it was a huge undertaking. But uh, yeah, just the fact that I had a, an amazing team behind me and it is a blessing that I had that help. Yeah, I mean, the citation actually, the fact that you at the end have all of your references, a nice touch. We're doing science. That's a really key fact that I was looking at the back and I was so pleased that you've. Of course, you know. Well, um, references are important because a people want to know more most of the time. So like it's the same with my YouTube videos and you see that with a lot of educational channels. Yeah. You put the sources and then if people, and it's not just that, but people want to verify things because it's like some things you hear online are so crazy. You want to be like, is that true? And yeah. it's easier to just have a source there and people can, they could also Google it, but either way. I mean, that's, would you ever have been a scientist, do you think? I know you were an accountant before you were a YouTuber. Like that's a very science way of looking you at it. You know what? I, I don't know. I think the universe has a way of pushing you in a direction you were meant to go. And I think I was meant to be a YouTuber. Could I have been a scientist? Sure, it could have been anything. Uh, could have been an accountant, I was. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm very uh, I'm very thankful I was pushed in the direction I was pushed. I mean, do you think you'll be an author now? Is this the is this the first of many books we'll see from you? I hope so, yes. We're already talking about Mind Blown Part 2, so exclusive. Are you not going to run out of facts? No, that's the beautiful thing, is that there's so many facts in this world and there's always more coming uh there's so many amazing sources on the internet that you know one of my favorite is reddit like the til mm -hmm. section uh today i learned if you haven't checked it out check it out like you'll be there for hours and hours and hours so uh, if you ever check out my videos and you're like i need more that's the place to go so more of the same kind of stuff would you ever want to branch out into other like fiction like writing that kind maybe. of maybe yeah you never know yeah. i mean who are your favorite authors like what who's been an influence on your writing I mean, Gary Vaynerchuk is someone that influenced my social media presence. Um, but, like, I've read Dan Brown. I've read... Uh, I read a lot of other YouTubers' books, actually. Yeah, so that was a huge inspiration of mine. Because, you, you know, you're joining a, a, a group of people. And in particular, I think it's interesting about your book is the fact that you are drawing content from your community, from your yes. fans. I mean, is that the direction you think we're going to see a lot more people doing? Because we're seeing influencers like yourself mm -hmm. who have a large following producing things, but also drawing from the community in a way that it's a bit more like YouTube. It's more of a dialogue. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. And that's from the beginning, that's the way I designed it is I really wanted it to be a collaborative effort. And, uh, you know, just like YouTube, how people leave comments, I thought, well why don't I have them submit facts? Yeah. And then I actually met multiple people that are in the book and they pulled out the page and they said, page 70, I'm on that one, that's, I'm Jake or whatever. So that was oh, great. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. And, and then you got them to verify it. So it's, you know, it's, it's yeah, absolutely- we, Well, yeah, because we're not yeah, just, yeah, we had to verify it, but yeah. But that's so cool. I mean, I think that's about all the time we have time for. Cool. But thank you so much for being on the channel. Thank you. If you are interested in facts like me, because I love this, I should point out. Thank you, thank you. I was reading it on you. the tube today. Thank you. Um, check out this book. It's available everywhere, Amazon iTunes, Audible, I got an audiobook, everything. How did you find doing the audiobook, by the way? Oh my God, that was, that's another interview altogether. <laughs> okay. It was a long process. It's, but you know what, it's, it was very rewarding because I've had multiple uh, visually impaired or uh, blind fans that uh, said thank you for making an audiobook because I, I can't, I couldn't, there's no braille version, so. Yeah, well that's awesome. Well thank cool. you very much. Thanks and brother. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>